Studying a monologue for performance requires you to actually infer a lot, to look at context. It forces you to put yourself in the shoes, in someone else's shoes. It forces you to look from different perspectives. Monologues are great fun. Children should be performing monologues in classrooms. Um, I mean, all the time. They're fun. They're also a dedicated minute or two for a child. Even if you put a whole bunch of um, monologue starters into a bowl and, and get your students to pick from them and speak uninterrupted for a minute, it's giving them a lot of public speaking experience. It's giving them the, uh, the chance to, to articulate their thoughts, to think cogently and to try their hand at humor if they're trying comedy or to think deeply and to employ their emotions to deliver dramatic um, thoughts or ideas or stories. So practicing monologues um, is something that, that we should do. Anyway, I'm doing another one now and it's called The True Feelings of Godzilla. This one has been written by Jordan Onya who's a 10-year-old from New Finland, Canada. In The True Feelings of Godzilla, Godzilla is trying to get people to understand him and also is taking the opportunity to apologize for his actions. So first things first, I have to become Godzilla, right? I can't deliver this monologue as if I was reading from a script, which is some, something that people do tend to do. Tend to do. Um, You've got to, you've got to deliver the lines, even if you're reading or you've learned it from a script. You've got to deliver the lines as if you are thinking them and then saying them. I mean, that's what acting requires you to do anyway, isn't it? You can't behave as if you're, you're doing a read aloud or you're, uh, you're doing some sort of recitation, right? It's got to seem natural as if the words that you're speaking are the thoughts of the character. So true feelings of Godzilla. Guys, 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 I know, I know, I knocked over a couple of buildings. But if you were my size, you would too. I'm not such a bad guy, you know. You really got to know me. I mean, I don't mean to alarm you, but I bet you'd scream too if you stubbed your toe in a corner store. Oh, um, yeah, the hot dog guy. Yeah, I'm sorry about the hot dog guy. He just made me mad when he got my order wrong. It gets pretty lonely being this big and living in the ocean. That's why I thought the Statue of Liberty would make a nice girlfriend. I'm sorry I knocked her over. It was an accident. By the way, it is hard to turn with a tail this long. Sometimes stuff gets swept away, you know. Tell City Hall that I'm sorry that their building is now a boat. So give a monster a break, will ya? Okay, thank you. I hope you like that. <laughs>